Welcome back, Battlecasters. So last weekend, I actually found some Skylanders Battlecast cards in the General Mills cereals. However, the only place I could find them was in boxes of Reese's Puffs, which I do not eat. But I bought some anyway. And I actually made a video about unboxing them, and I forgot to post it. So just to catch you up, in those three boxes that I bought, I managed to pull a Prism Break, Sonic Boom, and the variant Trigger Happy. All the other cards were uh, the existing ones that you could pull out of booster packs already, like Stealth Elf, uh, Spitfire, Mood Ring, and Jackpot. So, fast forward to today, I found some more Skylanders Battlecast cards. This time, they're in Cinnamon Toast Crunch, and this is a cereal I will eat. Now, as you can see, unfortunately, the only size I could find them in was the family size, so I'm going to have a lot of cereal to eat. But, like I said, it is a cereal that I enjoy, so I don't mind it. I'm just set for a couple months, I think. Um, so today, I was able to find seven boxes, so that will round out to a nice, even... 10 boxes. They were on sale, so that's always a plus. And uh, we're gonna start unboxing some of these. So, thankfully, they uh, put the cards outside of the cereal box, uh, the, the bag inside, so we don't have to worry about that, uh, about the cereal going bad. So, in case you haven't seen them, these are what the packs look like. Very similar to uh, the, the standard booster packs, just a little bit thinner because there's only three cards per pack here. So I'm still looking for, let's see, I need, I have Sonic Boom, Trigger Happy, Prism Break. I still need the Variant Hothead and then the two spells for the two new characters. So let's see what we got here. We have... Sonic Boom. So I already have that one, but I'll take it. And then we have a Stealth Elf and Mood Ring. Move on to box number two here. I'm getting really close to uh, completing my standard collection of Skylanders Battlecast cards. So if I can finish off this promotional collection as well today, that's going to be really exciting. So pack number two, there we go, there we go. That is my variant hothead that I need. That's a new one for me. So these cards have a variant artwork on them, so the card actually looks different. And then it says, scan this card in Skylanders Battlecast to unlock a variant hothead in your collection. Once again, we don't really know what that means yet. Um, last I checked, I'm going to have to check again today, but these cards still can't be scanned into the game. So we're not really sure. Okay, the other two cards are Spitfire and Mood Ring, in case you're wondering. Um, but we're not really sure what the variant card means. I mean... Apparently, it's going to show up separately in your collection, but I really don't know if it's going to behave differently in the game. Does that mean I'm going to be able to play with, like, two hotheads on my team? That, that would be an interesting deck. A deck with two hotheads. Uh, Alright, in this pack we have... Prison Break. So he's a new character for Skylanders Battlecast. And there we go. We got the Beam is Supreme. This is, some of you may recognize it as uh, Prism, Beam, Prism Beam's ca uh, catchphrase, uh, Prism Break's catchphrase, Prism Beam, wow. Um, his catchphrase, but it is also the name of this card or his spell in this case. So that's exciting. So now I'm actually down to just one Car one new card that I need, um, which would be Full Scream Ahead. That one is similar. It's a spell, we're assuming, for 
Um, yeah, it, it doesn't actually tell us what it does. Like, Beam of Supreme says, scan this card into Skylanders Battlecast to reveal a special spell card for your collection. So we, we know it's a spell, we're gonna get a spell card. I guess we don't necessarily know anything about it um, other than it is a character spell for Prism Break because right at the top of the card, you can see it has the outline of Prism Break's head, just like all the other character spells do. So in this pack, up front we got another Prism Break, Stealth Elf, and there we go. Just completed my collection here. Full scream ahead. There's the new spell for Sonic Boom. So we'll just open up the, these other three boxes here quickly. Um, you can imagine. So j just uh, for those of you who like numbers, that was my seventh box overall, and that got me all six new cards. So they seem to be. Uh, uh, spread out pretty well. And that guy was hiding. Um, but, yeah, so if I, I, I got the six new cards I needed out of just the first seven boxes. I, I think that's pretty good. But now all of these are going to be duplicates for me. So we'll uh, naturally find something to do with them. Oh, there's another Prism Break. Seems to be the most common one for me so far. Other than Spitfire and Mood Ring. Uh, those guys are even more common, obviously. And something else I wanted to note about, if you haven't actually seen these new cards, um, like this Prism Break here. Actually, all of the new ones, let's see, yeah. The new characters, the new spells, they, they don't actually say spell or character on them. I don't know if it's gonna focus on this, but they call them mystery cards. Not entirely sure what a mystery card means, but I, I guess it's just promotional. And then way down on the bottom, just because I've made a point of this before, um, but the symbol down on the bottom is something we haven't seen before either. Typically, like you can see on here, if I show you the top one is Spitfire that has that crown or claw symbol, and then the one below is different, and that's even different than the other um, other promotional cards we've seen that have like a triangle symbol on them. This one is different yet, I think, if I if I remember. I'm gonna have to look at that closely. I'll, I'll get a comparison up on the site sooner or later. Um, so here we have another Sonic Boom. A Spitfire and Mood Ring. Like I said, I think the Spitfire and Mood Ring, they just keep popping up. So one last box here. As I said, everything from here on out is gonna be doubles. So it's not quite as exciting, but still fun to see if we, I wonder if I could get two complete sets here. That would be uh, fun, but it doesn't look like it's gonna happen. Uh, we have Sonic Boom again, along with, oh, Spitfire and another Beam is Supreme. So there you have it. I managed to complete my set of these uh, promotional General Mills uh, serial battle cast cards. Um, let me know how you're doing. Are you collecting them? Are you interested? Um, let me know in the comments below and enjoy.